Hi friends, welcome back. So today we will learn how to recover a delete, deleted log file. Okay, let me open a notepad. As we were talking about how to delete, how to recover deleted log file in Linux in Red Hat. Okay. So, what? As you know, guys, uh, we all are working on very critical systems and very critical servers. Even though those are very experienced, by mistake they also delete some important files. And once it deleted in the system with the command rm space hyphen rf, very hard to recover. Very you know very rare person know that how to recover it. But most of our new newcomers, like new friends, those are new in this Linux fields they always stuck in that okay so i'm going to just create this video to help for those friends okay so how can we do that first uh, like uh, let me load my server this is my server okay so just so for practical i don't have any server on this system so let me install one server let me take in for example Apache let me take Apache I'm going to install this Apache server so it will install it's installing few packets okay after install this package in your case in your case guys any of your server for example your FTP your what do you call that Apache any server all right you can take okay your server is already running on your system but in my system it's not running as i show you i just installed now i have to just start httpd and now service start let me check it oh what is this status is showing a lot of things man my bad http okay you can see running service okay that's cool okay so as you know every server has uh, some log files let me go well log here we can see there is one file httpd okay we have two log files let me check with this one wow we have uh, some messes in this file so we can read it okay so we have files now let me delete this oh it's gone mm, people just think that you cannot get it back but good news you can get it back okay so maybe your manager maybe your developers they will come and they will say that i want that log file which you deleted one thing that should be make sure that your system should be should not be rebooted okay after delete this if your system got rebooted i don't think so you can recover it but yes if you delete it right now your system is not rebooted then you can recover it right for that you have to follow some steps and make sure you follow those steps one by one and in right sequence because it's very important because I don't want you run you follow the steps like first step is on second and second one of the first so I don't think so you can recover it on that case okay so what I need to do first as all of you knows how to check my server which process is my servers as you know it's HTTPD 
So I want to know the process ID. Okay, grab HTTP. Oh, unless you cannot see the clear what I want to show you. AUX grab HTTP. Okay, guys. Now you can see this double S. Okay, make sure you are. You, there are um, other process also, but we have to consider this capital S and S. Okay. Now, now you can see this is USR bin S bin and HTTPD. Okay. This is our process ID. There are a multiple process ID. You can see that. Like is for Apache and this and all the things. Okay. So what we have to consider we have to consider this one just this is just a symbol for you know for how to you know find out which process id you have to check so in this we can see we have one process id that's 4353 these are all others process id you don't need to worry about these and even we don't need to use it so make sure you are using the first one this and make sure this s and s should be there okay now let me log in <coughs> let's log in uh, so how can i use this process id i can run ls if an ls a and as all of you there's a proc what is a proc proc is a virtual partition which is create during during uh, boot your system right let me show you one more thing you can see, go in proc and then you can run a command oh my god there are a lot of files here so so i think it's a lot of files so it must must have uh, some space and some size of this mount point because a lot of files here but there is a magic You can see guys zero yeah it's just for knowledge all of you guys if somebody asks you what is the size of proc you can say zero he will say no how can it possible there are a lot of files in this yes but this is a virtual part you know the virtual partition it does not exist but exist right in the system it will it is all these files these are related to your system currently running some are for your partition some about your uh, files directories service servers and kernels right a lot of things it is you know big and very important on point okay so here where we go oh i forget the process id again it's 4353 okay ls hyphen lsa Proc four four three five three, okay, and FD FD run. You can see guys where low and error. Whenever you delete any server file, any server file, what you need to do, you can go with this, okay this you have to check the process id of that server and go here and the locations this right now what you have to do you can see that this is an error log file is there deleted when your system got rebooted it refreshes as you i already told you the proc is a virtual file system it does not exist in your system in a real okay so when you reboot the system all these entries refresh and get with the new one okay so i'm not giving any surety when your system got rebooted and after that you can recover it you not okay okay in my case now i can see <coughs> what can i do mm, let me take mm, this proc or three five three so oh my bad yeah this FB. you can see the number it's two right just press two okay and just take a backup on anywhere tamp in root i just taking this as 
so I will suggest you just make the name of the file uh, whatever the name was earlier this okay yeah it's copy okay now what would be our next step as all of you know guys that what was the location of the file earlier as it was log acidity as you can see there is no file now what I need to do root error log right dot wow our file is back even file timestamp also the same the, you know mm. so now you can check is it uh, recorded properly or not yeah my servers all you know information is there now uh, let me cross check let me reboot my server sorry restart my server should not give any error wow let's see what it, if it is not um, it, if it not find any pro if giving any problem so it will not restart it let restart status that's good alas error dog all my file is there okay all my logs also there thanks to watch this video if you find this video helpful please share with your friends and subscribe our channel technical type